Hunter Reno, Joe Hunt's Ghost on Instagram. And I'm Mike Del Coro, Florida Paranormal Researcher on Instagram. Also joining us, we had Eric, team leader for War Party Paranormal, our team. You might know him from some of his lives. <laughs> we also had uh, Jen O'Callaghan joining us uh, from Chicago. She's a psychic medium. Also, last but not least, we had special guest Keith Rommel, author of several novels and has done a lot of research on this subject. Yeah, Keith's been uh, researching this for over 10 years now, and uh, his knowledge was a great help to us on this investigation. So thank Absolutely. You. Thank, you. thank you, Keith. Uh, Keith Rommel, um, I'm a uh, resident here in Port St. Lucie. I've been investigating the Devil Tree probably for <laughs> 10 years now. And found some interesting things, as well as the locals tree, and there's also another tree where the, the killings actually took place. And uh, I think tonight will be a nice adventure. And uh, I'm also the author of some books, and uh, I got a show airing on CBS coming in October. Uh, oh, awesome. Uh, based off of uh, my uh, time with the CBS crew uh, at the tree. So we're gonna have a good night tonight. Hey Keith, do you mind if I ask you, how, how many books have you, you have out now? Uh, I've written 15 novels. Wow, wow, congratulations. Thanks. Um, all right, cool, so we're gonna, we're here in the parking lot, waiting on a little bit more of our crew, we're gonna get some gear out, and then we're gonna make our way back. The Devil Tree, it stems really around one person, and that is Florida's first serial killer, Gerard Johnson. Uh, he was active in the late 60s, early 70s, uh, until he was apprehended. Alright, let's head on back out to the tree and start the investigation. You have people that are coming out here for curiosity, right? When you say curiosity, and then you would also say that people coming out here for nefarious reasons. Um, and then you have people that are very angry that people come out here to look. And I, you know, kind of went back and forth with some people on that too. Meaning, you know, you're, you're drawing unnecessary attention. Listen, whether or not I come here makes no difference. There's thousands and thousands of people that come here a year the curiosity, the lore, the pull. It's always going to bring people out here. Always. At this point, we thought it would be a good idea to test Jen's abilities, so we let her lead the way. Remember, she has never been here before, never heard about this case, or been to this park. Right here, you can see her stop and start to lead the way down the trail we're located. Okay, so this is the uh, Locals Devil Tree. This is the one with the cement patch, where it's believed that Schaefer uh, tried to dig a hole in the tree to hollow it up, stuff the bodies in, or he also tried to, uh, or he left behind uh, satanic engravings. It was supposed to try to be burnt down and cut down, and uh, they were unable to do it. I know that this tree is about 150 years old plus, and uh, this is the one that draws all the attention from the people. So you can see all the wounds in the tree. You can see burn marks in it. You can see that some of them are very old and it's overgrown. So Keith is... Now we're going to go ahead and take us back to the tree and the area where the killings actually happened. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my God.
the voice of any spirits in the area using our handheld digital recorder. This is called Electronic Voice Phenomena, or EVP. Hello, my name is Eric. I've got Mike, Joe, i got Jen back there, and I think you know Keith. You know we're coming here to talk to you. So these are voice actors. So... I ask a question on a long pause. If it picks up something, you're not going to hear the long pause. It's going to pick up the next thing that it hears. Got it. Got it. There's something there. I think I heard Keith actually. I'm going to play it again. super familiar with the area kind of led us away from the locals double tree back to the area where the bodies were found um, Joe right here is going to set up a full spectrum camera and we're going to place it back in the woods in that area where the bodies were found and we're just going to leave it run I'm also going to set up a few devices I'm going to set up an EDI meter which uh, takes vibration in the ground on EMF changes in temperature uh, see if we get any movement on that. I'm also going to leave a REM pod as well. Um, we're going to be canvassing the whole area pretty much, so it's something that we might be able to hear if it is going off, but either way, we'll have it on camera. Yeah, because we're going to be right down the way at the actual Devil's Tree. Right. So great. Now, uh, as we were walking up to the tree, um, the closer we got, and uh, no bullshit, a lot of people have said that they've experienced similar symptoms, but I started feeling sick uh, to my stomach. Uh, just didn't have a good vibe about the area. Um, and then as we continued our investigation of the tree, um, I just started feeling a little bit worse and worse to a point that I actually had to go and walk up the trail uh, to get out of the vicinity for a bit, clear myself, and then come back. Um, and finish the investigation. That's the tree. That's the tree. See this thing? Mm-hmm. It's just like little, like, um, I'm burying my treasure. <laughs> you could talk. I just said this is where we dug up and she didn't hear it. Did you hear us talking over here about anything? No. I was down there. So real quick, Keith, tell us about what what you found here. Okay, so here is where we found pieces of the orange crate, and what's very interesting is I was whispering that this is where we took out of the ground pieces of the orange crate and at the yeah. same time you said burying my tree. A lot of people don't know about this tree but remember what I said about the crack mm -hmm. and you saw it with the detective. I just showed you the picture of the detective. Correct. So this is actually where he did the killings and he and he buried the bodies away from here. We, would you say about your chest like is it? Like it's like like, I feel like things coming out. <laughs> Do you know what's interesting about that? If I could? My throat, too. Like, I feel like my throat. Okay, so what's very interesting about that is he used to disembowel his victims. And the reason why he did that because he understood putrefaction and what the digestive system does to the body and how it breaks it down. So he removed the intestines, the stomachs. And then he would come back. It's a typical practice of what he did. And so the bodies would stay preserved longer yes. by removing the internals. Yes. Now, look, those are the ones that he left whole, but he did take a lot of them. We would, like, put them on branches, like, 
just admire all the glory of what I've done. And then he felt better. And he waited a little bit until it got But he felt better for now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Vibrations going off. Really? Right. How'd you live here? Hold on a second here. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> it went to one dot, but like, look, then if you move around. So Keith, basically what this is, this EDI, mm -hmm. it's, uh, see that? Yep. The dot mm -hmm. on the bottom? It's sensing vibration. That's vibration, like footsteps. And that's, there's no way we're doing that by here because it's there's so much loose soil. Even actually, like, looking at this, it's like... <laughs> Look, you see that? You see that? See? Nothing? Like that a little bit, but I was standing still. Look, there it goes again. There it goes again. Vibration. Because, like, if you didn't look like you didn't do this, then you know what, Keith? You know what? That she, what she's saying. What she's saying there right now is what I remember from doing a little bit of research that it's I've true. done. That she's hitting him right on the head right now. He would pick up hitchhikers and say, this is what you get for being a hitchhiker. Sure. This is what, yeah. it's dangerous. You can't like do this. It's your fault. Oh, cat ball. Is that confirmation that you need help? Oh, cat ball. Is that confirmation that you need help? Can you light up another one? Can I ask, Can I ask you, you a question? question? I've been here a lot. You might recognize me. The sheriff's deputy that came out here and he was trying to find the remains of your body. Was he ever close? You know how you're picking up something on this? See the red flashing light? Mm -hmm. When it's flashing steady, it's not getting anything. But when it's unsteady, okay. that means it's picking something up. Okay. So it's got a built-in REM pod? Get close to my antenna. Go off, you can touch it. Listen to this. Right after you said, can I ask a couple of minutes? Listen. I heard, I'm here. I don't know if you heard that. Sheriff's deputy that came out here is trying to find the remains of his body. What is that? Pressure and temperature change. The temperature is pretty steady here. Mm -hmm. Can you do that again? Oh, oh. Ram pod. Can you do that again for us? Make it go all the way to red, please. There you go. Good job. Nice. Thank you. It's kind of funny. I was just about to tell you that I kind of started feeling a little bit. When I said this yeah. is the first time I haven't felt really sick again. Not yet. But do that again. Again. Keep doing it. Was that just that we caught on voice recorded before? Is that your voice? Yes. That was the voice. 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 First time that I'm doing a, uh, a live paranormal investigation and um, some of the things that we're picking up in the activity that we're getting is absolutely amazing. So it's um, so far the experience is April.
Uh, we have some gear set up back in here. Uh, we got a REM pod, a millimeter. Um, is there a couple cap balls back there, Joe? A couple cap balls. A couple cap balls. And an EDI. So we're going to do a couple EVPs here and uh, see if we can get anything. Do you guys want to do one in there? I want to go in there. Yeah. I do. I do too. Just a reminder that we are, it is completely dark in here. And uh, I'm using a full spectrum camera with night vision IR. And then right through back here, you're gonna find more ruins. If we go straight ahead, we're gonna hit more ruins. So this is the area right here where we got the gear set up. Keith? Yeah, this is, this is the area that the bodies were found in here. All right. Now exactly where? I will say this. Let's say that it's like. Oh, Rem. They know. So, is that it's right? It's all in here. Is it is? Okay. Alright, so let's kill the lights. Let's be quiet and let's see if we can do a little EVP sesh. Um, I'll record while you're recording. During, During part of the investigation, when we were at where the bodies were discovered, um, Joe stumbled. I thought he tripped over, you know, where there was a lot of foliage. Um, we couldn't see. It was complete darkness. We had uh, just our night vision cameras to kind of see what was going on. And I thought he stumbled on something. And so did Keith. Take a look at this. Is there anything here that's like magnetic, like that? Whoa. What was that? You all right? Scare you? No, not that. <clears throat> What? You tripped? No. The yeah. first person right here? Get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm, I, my arm is I wish I could show you my fucking arms right now. Uh, I was filming with the full spectrum. Did you just touch him? Like, literally, like right fucking here. Light that up if you were touching him. Now I really want to go check this SD card. <laughs> okay. Well, I was filming and pointing right at you. I thought you tripped. No, that's what I thought too. I thought he stumbled. And the and the rem went off as as he as did. He was, yeah. And then I was like, wait a minute, that's what I was, like, is that a proximity thing? The rem? Yes. Yeah, but okay. it's, it's too. He was too so far. So he was way too far. Okay. okay. Look how close I got. Yeah. yeah. So he was way too far. Happened to glance over to my left, and maybe arms distance away from me, I saw the figure of a woman. I knew it was a woman. She had, had long hair. I could see the side of her face, but I could not see her face. Um, and then I just saw white um, straight down. She literally took a step to the left and a half step forward and was gone. It lasted maybe about a second, second and a half. It freaked me out. Brought in by who? Schaefer? take a moment to thank everybody for watching and uh, we appreciate all your support uh, definitely an investigation for the books uh, what do you think heck yeah no we got some uh, incredible evidence and it was really cool to have Keith there with uh, all the facts so keep watching like and subscribe and we'll put everybody's info in the description check us out on Instagram YouTube TikTok, whatever we got it